We've just spoken to the police in Nagano Prefecture, which is dealing with the rescue, and they have described the same. They've said that 30 people were found by rescue teams in a state of pulmonary cardiac arrest. They won't uh, declare them dead, but it pretty, seems pretty clear. Uh, these people are on top of a mountain. There are no emergency medical facilities for them to be taken to. And so if their hearts are stopped, then it, it seems pretty apparent that these, these 30 people are dead. How tricky is this operation, uh, even for the rescues themselves? Well, it's tricky because the mountain is still spewing uh, ash uh, into the air. And so it's very difficult, for example, to get helicopters to land. Uh, there has been a military helicopter successfully taking people off in small groups today. Uh, it was initially thought that wouldn't be possible, not just because of the, the ash cloud, but also because of the thick, very thick layer of ash on the top of the mountain, uh, which the helicopter, it was worried, concern was that the helicopter's engines or blades would, would kick that dust up, suck it into the engines and it would destroy the engines. However, they do appear to be succeeding in at least shuttling one helicopter in and out and taking people off the mountain. Rescue teams are on top of the mountain now helping people to descend. But of course, a new eruption could happen any time. And not only are these 30 people now declared dead, but we understand there are another 32 people perhaps who are missing and we just nobody knows where they are. And you said there could be possible further eruptions forecast. But I mean, this volcano itself seemed to take everybody by surprise. Absolutely. You know, Japan has many active volcanoes and they are watched very, very closely. And if there's any sign of an imminent eruption, these volcanoes get closed. Big signs go up on the hiking trails. Do not enter. It is dangerous. This didn't happen yesterday. There was no apparent sign that this was going to happen. Hundreds of people were up there on top of their mountain. Uh, and that's, you know, that this came essentially out of the blue. And that's why so many people were caught in this eruption.